Nein. Let's try this one. Brain 2. This is a MSHU brain. Let's see how this one works. Third flight. Just a change in the settings. Oop, hit the grass. That's better. This unit's much better. Let's do a bit more tuning. It was wobbling to start with, but... There seems to be more parameters than the U Spirit. So I've managed to tune a lot of it out. It was wobbling. Overall, happier with this unit. Don't know why. Feels much more locked in. <coughs> There's no wobbles, well there is sometimes, but that's all to do with tuning. I had to change the PID values on this setup. I don't know if I can get it now. I probably can't do it, but no, I've tuned it out. There was a bounce on the elevator. Which I've got rid of with the PIDs. I can't do that with the U spear or haven't certainly haven't figured out how to yet, so tail motor on this one else is working out the out the box. No special firmware required. Anything I have for this one, the uh, one of the steps where you have to set it for the tail rotor to be slightly turning or idling still on full left rudder if I do that then the tail motor won't turn off so I haven't set it like that I've just set it to turn itself off I'm being careful with left rudder because I think if I put full left rudder it will turn off but otherwise this one's really good A little bit steppy on the left rudder and I think that might be because of the way I've got it set but we'll find out early days right now last time from the use of the, with the tail firmware I had on the VL heli if I landed on it does that <laughs> overall though that's really good Pleased with that. All right. Telemetry lost. 